All right, y'all. There is a good sized turtle in our pool. You can see the size of the drain. Goodness, I would say that's, I don't know, uh, maybe closer to eight or nine inches on this turtle. So I don't know what to do. I'm gonna try to get him out. That turtle is going up the side. I thought I was gonna get him. Oh shoot, cicada. Gosh dang it, it's just a zoo out here. Oh no, he's going back down. Poor thing's trying to get out. I'm worried the chlorine's gotta be hurting him, maybe. I don't know, this isn't like natural habitat for turtles or anything, so I really wanna help him out. He's been climbing up the side nearly to the top. Um, this is just our little skimmer. I mean, I don't think it's designed for turtle retrieval, but it's all I got right now. Um, and other wildlife news today. Can you see there's a deer out there? Oh, it's really blurry. Just past the fence. Tyler just poked his head and said there were four out there. We've also got, oh, I can really see that one there. We've got our woodchucks as well, whom I've named Phil and Sweet Tooth. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Nucky, Grandpa built you a huge tower. Don't you want to knock it down? He's like, I would, but I don't know how to get down from here. <laughs> what well, we got here, pup? You're on Snapchat. <laughs> we have a uh, South Carolina shrimp boil poop. Or a shrimp mm. ball. Shrimp ball. <gasps> Are you building? Oh, we're building a big tower. It's taller than a... Oh. oh. Got the pip. Pip. Hi, sweetie. Oh my god, could you be any cuter? The answer is... Because I'm trying to be as cute as I can No. Kelly's got the cat. Pup, can you show me what you gave Nook? Oh my god. This is a little bub, the stuffed animal. Oh. <laughs> yes. Are you a baby? She's been circling the ottoman for a really long time. 10, 15 minutes. Hey. Wow. All right, it is 7:30 a.m. and Bub is already doing meat-related tasks. Doing some meat preparation. For? For the... a pork butt. I'm going to try to do pulled pork. Awesome. It's going to be our dinner. Here's the aforementioned butt. Ooh. Which actually comes from the pork shoulder, not their, not their hind end. Hoping to uh, feed about six adults with Oh this. yeah, there'll be plenty with leftovers, I think. So what I did was I just injected it. Um, <laughs> I saw a guy on barbecue pit masters that just left the left the wrapping on. What did you inject it with? Okay, with this stuff. It's, oh, that was that was your next point. Yeah, that was my thanks. Thanks for the transition, though. It was a cup of apple juice, a cup of water, uh -huh. half a cup of salt, half a cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Nice. Making a, a mop now. It's just to baste the pork butt. Keep it moist while it's cooking. It's going to take like eight hours or so. So mm. you want to keep it moist. Don't want it to dry out during that time. No. So that's a picture of what it apparently looks like. 16 ounces of vegetable oil, 16 ounces of cider vinegar, 32 ounces of water, some dry rub, soy sauce, and Worcestershire again. I got this at uh, Walmart and just a little butt rub. <laughs> There's a lot going on in the kitchen right now. We've got Pup slicing up some peaches for... Peach dumplings. Yum. Meanwhile, over here, we got Bub, who is uh, taking this pork butt out of its juices. Yeah, no, it's not its juices. Those are the ones I injected. Before we put the rub on, I'm going to try putting mustard on it to kind of bind it. Some people like to do that, I guess. Yeah, I've seen I've a lot of the barbecue folks doing this. Done that personally, but why not try it? 
Now I'm just gonna put the rub on. And stuffing the peaches with cinnamon, sugar, and butter. Oh, well that doesn't sound That's like any good. It's not gonna work. It's <laughs> gonna be dinner. That is the pork butt. How long does it stay in, Tyler? About eight hours. Oh, Smoking. Oh. <laughs> About how much does that weigh, bub? Almost nine pounds. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and is it? Dumpling time! Woo! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Bub, can you even? Can't. Even. <laughs> We're making homemade enchiladas. Mm -hmm. We've got chipotle peppers, jalapeno, uh, tomatoes, and and onion, garlic, and boned thighs uh, with skin on, all cooked in a pressure cooker. Then you pull the chicken out, you shred it, and you blend what was left in the pressure cooker into the enchilada sauce. It's being sauced, I'm at a distance here. He's cheesing it up. You can hear the cheese sizzling. They are so good. I've got a little sour cream on this side. Gives a nice little coolness if you need it. Cheesy. Chicken is super tender. Really good flavor. I try to say goodbye and I choke. Try to walk away and I stumble. <laughs> So this is the mop. Yep, just want to keep it moist. Okay, here we go. Flip me. <laughs> We're at 167 degrees. I need to get it to 195, but I'm going to wrap it in foil from now on. Okay. Because it's basically cooked, we just need to get it tender. We have hit 195 <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go,